Enjoy your life, the precious moments that you have. Spend each day with some laughter and some thought. Get some emotions going. Keep your dreams alive despite problems you may have. Work hard for your dreams to become a reality. When these words were spoken by Jim Valvano at the 1993 ESPY Awards, there was no way to know how much impact they would have. Spoken by a man in the midst of battling cancer, Valvano's riveting speech brought the crowd to their feet. Valvano gave this speech as he accepted the inaugural Arthur Ashe Courage Award. And at the end of the speech, he delivered his charge for what would be his legacy moving forward. We need your help. I need your help. We need money for research. It may not save my life. It may save my children's lives. It may save someone you love. And ESPN has been so kind to support me in this endeavor and allow me to announce tonight that we are starting the Jim, Jimmy V Foundation for Cancer Research. According to his brother, Bob, Valvano was disturbed to learn that more than half a million people were dying from cancer each year. And so he said there has to be a way to get money in the hands of the young scientists who are trying to get the breakthrough. It's very hard for them to get the money, the people with the new ideas. So ESPN uh, put this idea together with Jim and they started the V Foundation and that is 99% of what we do is give money to research. Since its inception in 1993, the V Foundation has raised over $150 million. In 2005, famed college basketball coach and sportscaster Dick Vitale hosted the first Dick Vitale Gala for the Jimmy V Foundation. The annual gala is a who's who in the sports world and honors members of collegiate athletics and broadcasting while raising money for the Jimmy V Foundation. At this year's 13th annual Dick Vitale Gala, a member of our Florida State family will be recognized, men's basketball head coach Leonard Hamilton. Oh, I think he's, he embraces so many of the things we talked about. He's got a great passion for what he does, that's obvious. Nobody's going to cure cancer by themselves. Uh, you know, we are, we are a team, and that's how we view it. And, and now he's a, a member of our team by, by doing this, and we're thrilled to have him. Coach Hamilton will be an esteemed honoree at this year's Dick Vitale Gala, along with University of Michigan football coach Jim Harbaugh and ESPN host Mike Greenberg. The mission of the Jimmy V Foundation is especially close to Coach Hamilton as his family has been greatly affected by the disease. My grandmother, my father, my mother, two of my brothers all uh, lost their life to cancer. So I've always been interested in trying to be involved as much as I possibly can to, to try to raise the consciousness as also raise funds to, to, for research to, to fight this disease. While this honor means so much to Coach Hamilton, it also means a lot to his Florida State family especially his friend of more than 40 years, Florida State Director of Athletics, Stan Wilcox. You know, we all come out to support um, uh, Dick Vitale and, and the V Foundation and uh, look to raise as much money we, as we can to continue to help put the funds towards the research to help come up with a cure for this, this deadly disease. And I know Leonard is very happy to be a part of, a part of that. Uh, we're happy that he's going to be a part of it and we'll be there to support him. The college athletics family truly has banded together to work toward a common goal. Whether it be through Coaches vs. Cancer Suits and Sneakers Week or the Dick Vitale Gala, people have rallied to raise money for research to find a cure for the disease that has touched everyone in one way or another. The community is gathered around one common cry, as so famously said by Jim Valvano, don't give up. Don't ever give up. I'm Sarah Hunter for Seminole Sports Magazine.